Hey everyone, this is Brady Flanagan. I'm, you know, I'm I'm the voice of Benny. You you recognize my voice. Uh, before we get started on this season, I did want to say that we did want to dedicate this season to the memory of someone very, very close and dear to us, Megan Sticked. Uh, Megan played Lauren in season one, so you should be very familiar with her voice as well. But unfortunately, last year she did pass away. And it's been hard on the entire cast. It's been hard for everyone involved and for everyone who's ever known her. And we just wanted to make sure that we honored her in releasing this season. So in her memory, we hope that you enjoy this. All right, let's do this. The date is September 17th, 2023. This is Special Agent Cara DeMarco, joined by Agent Spratt, interviewing Ms. Janet Blake, an employee at Rencore, about her involvement with the incident on August 12th. Ms. Blake, we appreciate your cooperation. I'm just happy to finally set the record straight. There's too much going on that the public just doesn't understand, and the danger is real here. Is everyone okay? Got your hearing back? What? I said, do you have your hearing back? What? I said... Just kidding, yeah. Yeah. The fact that you are still wearing those pajamas should have given that away. What? I look good. Hey! Hey there, Dark Elves! You good? Still bloodthirsty? I'll take that to mean that you are okay. (sighs) All right, Benny. What do we do now? Go slay the dragon and save the damsel in distress? (laughs) Though I doubt that your ex would want us to call her that. (laughs) Or maybe Mr. Newsom could be the damsel in distress. (laughs) Um, Benny? Sorry if that joke hit a nerve or something. I I thought you'd like it. Benny? (gasps) James? James, come here! Yes? What happened to Mr. Bowers? I don't know. He was talking with me, joking, and then he just stopped. Obviously something's wrong here. That weird film over his eyes. It looks straight out of a horror film. This is not good. I warned the two of you against destroying the sanctuary, and now look at what has happened. Wait, your laptop. James, was this residence folder here before? I do not believe so, Miss Blake. We're all in here. Okay, Benny. Admin override. James, what does that mean? Valhalla seems to have taken direct control of Mr. Bowers. Well, can we stop them? Wait, status has just changed to inactive. Benny? He's he's not responding. Eric, help me bring him up to the building. Uh, sure. Miss Blake, it would seem that Mr. Bowers was influenced by something from Valhalla's system. This is rather interesting. All right, James. Now we need to... James? James? Oh, no. You have the admin over right now. No, 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 no! Uh, what's going on? What Was I right? We're all going to die? Uh, I don't know. Not yet, I think. Let me pull myself up here. Status says, just shows active. What's this? A big red button that reads extract. Might be a good way to- Janet Blake. We need- I'm pressing it. (gasps) 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 What's going on? Where am I now? Uh, Janet? You're back! How... Wait, how did you get out? Wait, what? No. Where is this? Norway. You're at the Norway monitoring station, Janet. You're... You're back. You're out. I... I I can't be yet. They're all still in there. Uh, call San Jose. 
I don't care how early it is there. This is crazy. It's all finally paying off. No, you don't understand. I have to get back there. I have to go back in. Rogue Life, Episode 12, Player One Start. Now, Miss Blake, can I, can I call you Janet? Sure, I guess. Janet, I know you just want to go back in, but we don't know what will happen. We are in an unprecedented circumstance here. My entire life has been unprecedented, sir. I know, Janet. I, I know. That's why we think that you need to just acclimate to a normal life again. Janet, you are a medical miracle. You've been given a new chance at life that no one in the history of this big blue world has ever received. Take some time away from all of this. They need me in there. So you've said, repeatedly. But there are those that are here, in the real world, that need you just as much. Your brother has been calling into the office asking for information about you once or twice a week for the past several months. Foster brother. Either way, he misses you. Take some time. Go visit him and his family in Denver. Think about this whole situation from his perspective. You are the closest thing that he has to a sister. You get diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, and instead of slowing down, you speed ahead, taking off to Norway for a very secretive assignment. They told me to slow down, but I don't like being told what I can and can't do, sir. Then you stay in Norway for well over a year with no contact with your brother. Foster brother? Not a single call. No letters. Well, I wasn't exactly in a situation where I could call, now was I? And yet, you're rushing to get yourself back into that situation? Are you telling me what I can and can't do, Darnell? (laughs) Look, from a legal standpoint, we can't let you go back yet. We we simply can't. (sighs) Okay, how about this? If you call your brother... Foster brother... (laughs) <laughs> and let him know that you're alive and well. We could maybe have you assist Jen with some of the monitoring and maybe dig through some of the old feeds. That's not the point, Darnell. You aren't going back in. Your tests have found some sort of foreign contaminant in your body. We don't know what they are. They aren't dangerous to you or anyone else as far as we can tell, but... It's a variable that we can't account for with going back into Valhalla. Until we can be completely positive that you and everyone within Valhalla will be safe with your re-entrance, you aren't going anywhere near the orb. What good am I to Jen? All the residents have just been stuck in their five-minute repeating loops as far as I've heard. There's not much for me to add out here. But in there... This is not negotiable, Janet. It's a roguelite action platformer that changes the world significantly with every death. But it always ends with a Viking setting for the final run. We've tested a few things and are already getting some good buzz from different gaming forums. We're calling it Rogue Life. I am just so excited to... Uh, Just a second. Well, here we go. Lauren talked me into going to a therapist to talk through all my issues, and my therapist suggested that I keep a video diary, so here I am. When Valhalla released us all, the world went a bit crazy for a bit. And it just repeats itself in there? there Is there anything that we can find in the static? Maybe some hidden image? Maybe some... Unexpected sounds layered in the feedback. Honey, you've watched way too many movies. There's nothing there. And no, it doesn't sync up with Dark Side of the Moon and playing it backwards doesn't say Paul is dead. And all of them have different loops that they're just stuck in? Yeah, except for Lauren Larkin. We just get static there. By all accounts, her body is alive, but we can't get anything to pull up on the monitors. Is there anything weird happening with the bodies? 
other than floating in midair? Nah. It is kind of freaky after the new season of Stranger Things. I haven't exactly been able to catch up on that show. You know, stuck in a coma and all. Oh, you've got to see it. It inspired me to blast some Kate Bush into the chamber, but it didn't work. Well, can I see them? Ooh, I get it. So you're wanting to see Benny in the flesh, huh? b b benny in the flesh. See if the Valhalla Benny matches the real McCoy? No, no, no. I am just trying to do all I can to help here. Aw, oh, come on, you're into him. The whole team knows it. Remember the last guy you dated? The cryptocurrency influencer on TikTok? But he's actually good. And we know he hates Bitcoin. You're safe. Come on. Dish this. I knew him for about an hour. An hour of pure fireworks, baby. It was like something out of a Nicholas Sparks movie. Ah, oh, <laughs> Sparks. Fireworks. That's a good one. I've got to write that down. You're a bit eccentric, aren't you? Just observant of the important stuff. This is all pointless. I need to get back in there, Jen. Not a good idea. I'm as much into raging against the machine as the next gal, but I also like having a steady paycheck. I have cats to feed, you know. How surprising. Ooh, this is my favorite part. He talks about you. I assume that they're doing pretty well. I'm still hoping that that raid in Destiny will happen with Janet, but maybe romance isn't in the cards for us just yet. Speaking of romance... Ugh, come on, hon. He wants you. Actually, I think you're right. There's definitely something there. I knew it. You should have seen how cute he was with you in all of the loops before you were you. Romance straight out of Wally. <laughs> Those two robots are so adorable together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just... I don't know. Mm, spill the tea, hon. It kills me to know that I'm stuck out here without him. What if I'm the only one that can free him? Janet, honey, you can't go back in. What if he's my only chance, Jen? Would you really want to be the one to standing in the way of true love? Honey, don't do this to me. Are you wanting to be the villain or the supportive best friend? Come on, you know I'm all for support. There's only one way that you'll be able to see what happens with this budding romance. <sighs> but, okay, okay, fine. Only in the name of love. I've always wanted to say something like that. But, but, we have to be careful. Security is tight, after all. I just need to get to the orb. I doubt that they'll try to arrest my floating unconscious body. But my body will be very much not unconscious and completely arrestable. Thank you very much. Get me into the room. That's all I need from you. You'll have plausible deniability here, Jen. I've got you. Oh, this is just... <laughs> okay, okay. What do you need me to do? That's more like it, Jen. What's security like around the orb? Pretty tight, but it depends on the time of day and the guard on duty. Is there a particular guard that might be more amenable to our needs? Probably Matthew. Let me guess, he's pretty susceptible to our womanly wiles? <laughs> God, no. He's gay, but he's very easily distracted. And is there just one guard? No, they have around five at all times in the room with the orb. Uh, well, that's not good. Yeah, it might be best to get a sign-off with Darnell and go official with it instead of all cloak and dagger. He was pretty insistent that it's not happening, and he's been ignoring all my Slack messages. Well, that's just rude. How about this? Get me into the room. I'll figure out what to do with the guards inside. Okay. Matthew will be working the morning shift. I know how to get him riled up. He always keeps his badge next to him on his desk. He says that he doesn't like the feel of it dangling from his belt loop. You grab that, you're in. I really appreciate it, Jen. I'm just doing this for love, Janet. So you make sure to give Benny a big smooch when you get in there, okay? Like, make it a killer moment. 
I want to hear some 80s power love ballads kick in in the background. Oh, yeah, sure. Morning, Matt. Oh, hey there, Jen. So, I've officially watched Thor Love and Thunder. And Tyke's the greatest, right? The man doesn't miss. Gotta be honest, worse than the Dark World. How dare you? Seriously, man. Maybe I'm just done with Marvel as a whole. It's all sucked since Endgame. Way too many jokey jokes just ruin the drama. Would you rather that no one in the world ever smiles? You know what the MCU needs. Don't you dare. Zack Snyder, show us something real and raw. That's it, we're fighting, this is a fight. How dare you? Don't get me wrong, the shadow world in the film was pretty cool. But that's just because the lighting copped Snyder's style. Wow, people are really passionate about things that just don't matter. What happened to the world while I was out? What was that? Probably just a goat screaming. Because that's hilarious every time, right? As a matter of fact, it was. In, in fact, if you watch the special features, then you'll find out that the goat is named Tiger. That was close. Let me see. There's no guards in here. That's weird. Jen said that there was supposed to be like five at all times. There it is. Valhalla. <sighs> okay, here we go. Time to plug back into the Matrix. Eat your heart out, Neo. <sighs> what the? This has to be the real thing, right? Wait. Why won't it take me back? They need me! Come on, Valhalla! Get me back in! Ugh! Okay, okay. Maybe it just doesn't let you back in. Was that crack always in the orb? Think logically here, Janet. What can we do now? Oh, come on! That didn't work. Will the sexual tension ever be resolved? Jen, where are the guards? No idea, but take the easy win. See all those stairs? They lead up to the bodies. Benny's is just two to the right of you. No, the other right. Why did you go up and pay him a visit? That feels a little creepy, doesn't it? Oh, come on. You gotta give me something, at least. I had to badmouth a movie here where I got to see Chris Hemsworth's ass. Now that was acting. Fine. I'll go see him. Hello, guys. Everything all right in here? And another thing, Matt. You call that romance? There was more romance with Thor and his hammer than with Jane. But I sure wish that I could see a real love story play out. Fine. I'm going up, sheesh. Oh, come on. It's about as good as as good as it gets. Did you forget that we get to see the full Hemsworth? Uh, Benny's avatar is pretty accurate, I guess. He's cute. I should really... Hey, who's in here? Oh, crap! Oh, oh, oh! Well, that was weird. Apparently I had to touch Benny to get back in here. Okay. Where am I? Looks like I'm in a basement. The shag carpet and wood paneling walls feel very 70s or 80s. A TV game system. Super Valhalla Entertainment System, eh? Let's turn it on. <laughs> Player one start. Okay, I guess I will. Rogue Life is written by Brady Flanagan. Directed and edited by Brady Flanagan. Assistant directed by Anthony Lovato. Original music by Brady Flanagan and Willis Kramer. Piano by Jill Flanagan. 
recorded at Two Rough Edges Studios. Starring Ali Arbuckle, Amanda Flanagan, Anthony Lovato, Blake Haywood, Bob Bador, Brady Flanagan, Brooklyn Kohler, Brooks Bador, Casey Wayman, Dan Harvey, Jake Herrenberg, Jason Wilde, Jim Dixon, John Crowder, Caitlin Johnson, Kevin Buckner, Melinda Yeaman, Melissa Head, Michelle Gardner, Richard Head, Rio Lefevre, Robert Neal, Rusty Bringhurst, Truman Barnes, narrated by Blake Haywood, art by Blake Haywood, production manager Melissa Head. Next time on Rogue Life, Janet finds out just how weird it is inside Benny's head in episode 13, Benny's Battle of the Bits. <laughs> <laughs>